Hello, this is Klopla321, and this is tutorial 030, and this tutorial will be going over serialization and unserialization. Serializing is pretty much encoding a, any type of variable into a string or a bunch of text that can be saved to a file or to a database and read later by unserializing it. And uh, so first of all you can do serialize which is a function and um, you could put in any type of value to that and then you can do um, and you can do unserialize um, also so if I serialize the value and then I go ahead and uh, and I say unserialize before that then um, I pretty much just said um, that value equals value as uh, I'll show you here so if I'm let's say I'm adding 1 to 0 and then I take away 1 it's 0 in the end um, even though I've manipulated it well here I'm manipulating and then unmanipulating it to where it's the same thing so by definition it is um, it generates a storable representation of a value and this is for useful for storing or passing PHP values around without losing their type and structure. To make serialized um, string in PHP, well to make it back into a value you use unserialize. So if you go ahead and uh, use these functions um, you can do things with uh, with the types of what they are so you can handle a serialized variable as a string um, but manipulating it through as it serializes is not suggested because you can have some problems so I'm going to start on an example here where I'm going to make a, an array of um, times that I make so I'm going to do a for loop of while well, x is, starts at 0 and x is less than 10 add one every single round so I'm going to say times and then on top of the array I'm going to add another value to it and I'm going to say it's time plus x, and since the first one is zero, it's going to be to the, the current second. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to print and into a readable uh, way of the times array that I've just generated here. So if I go into Chrome and go back into my page, I can see that it generates these uh, values, which are long uh, time stamps that are uh, since some age ago when Unix time started and um, it just happened to start on 1 and go to 10 but um, there's only 9 values since it's from 0 to well yeah from 0 to 9 so there's 10 values so if I serialize it it's going to be a bit different as you can see it's not very readable and it's an array saying there's um, 10 items item 0 here it is it's an integer and it is this number here and then item 1 is this integer here and so on um, and it goes on to the very end and um, but if I unserialize it um, and go back to the browser it's just going to say array because it's not in a readable format yet so if I refresh it it's just going to say that of course and if I go back and do print R of, uh, of this it's going to be the same thing as if I didn't even have unserialized and serialized there so but it has that one on the end because of uh, how the array is managed through the recreation of it it doesn't really mean anything really um, other than a, uh, other than a, uh, well, actually, the reason why that one is there is because I'm echoing print r, um, and it's saying print r has echoed correctly, therefore it will put a one after it. Anyway, um, so I'm going to take this off, and I'm going to do file put contents, and I'm going to save this as a text file, and I'm going to call it blah.txt, and I'm going to take out this extra parentheses in the end there and I'm going to save it and of course I'm not echoing anything so it's going to be a blank page but if I go back you'll see that there's a file here called blah.txt which I just made 
um, and it looks like that with the time um, stamps. So if I go to um, another .php, um, which I'm planning to bring in the data which I just used, I'm going to first make a uh, variable. I'm going to call it um, the data, but um, I'm also going to call it s data for serialized data. Um, and I'll do that in a second here, um, but not u data because it's not unserialized, but s data, and so we don't get confused. And I'm going to say file get contents, and then I'm going to put in the text file name, and that's blah.txt, and I'm going to end that there. And next, I'm going to say the data is un is the unserialized version of the serialized data. So I'm going to say s data here for the input. And now I should have the same thing as that times array. So I'm going to print it out so that we can kind of see what it looks like. And uh, you'll notice that it seems pretty familiar with every, with uh, what it was before. As the time stamps goes from zero to nine, and uh, goes on like that. So, if I go back to my source, I can um, say uh, that, um, or well, I can also update the uh, the uh, values by going back to the page and generating new data, and then I can go back to another .php, and you'll notice that instead of thirty-five or something at the end, it says thirty-eight. So. I can um, go back to my text file, or rather my PHP file, and I can start making um, something that will make sense out of these timestamps. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to say for each data as date, because essentially they are timestamps, so they are dates, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to echo out that Johnny ate an apple um, on um, let's just say um, on the day and I'm going to put the date here. Um, I could say um, that I want to put it um, there but I'm going to also put the timestamp into this other flag that can be set inside of date so it's not um, generically this um, this one, but the reason why I put it in there is to kind of show you that we don't really need it because um, the structure of the uh, serialized data has been retained. So I'm going to go back to uh, php.net and search for date, and we can say that um, he ate the apple on L for lowercase for the day, and I'm going to say J for the day of the month without leading zeros. So if I go back and uh, copy that in, however, you'll kind of notice that since I only spaced it out by one second, it's not very uh, efficient doing that. And um, I'm not going to leave that as backslash n because backslash n in double quotes means new line. So I'm going to do a double backslash and then n. Um, so if I go back and uh, um, try to save it. It should say Johnny ate an apple in the day, and then like Tuesday on the third, um, because for some reason my server thinks it's GMT time on my computer when it's really not. So you can see that it puts out the value correctly, and um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to use the format they have at the top um, with uh, the seconds included. And I'm going to copy that and paste it into my date uh, format string. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go ahead and put E because E can be the uh, the uh, the time place, um, and it thinks it's Central Time, but it's not. It says UTC instead of GMT, like it seems to be. Anyway. Um, as you can see, all of them have different values for the seconds. And if I go to uh, my tutorial 30, I can recreate the blah.txt. So let's see, the last second is 38. It doesn't change when if I do that. But if I go to here, you can see that 38 is on the end. 
So if I go to the tutorial, I just recreate the text file. And now the last value is not 38 on the seconds because I just changed um, the source of the serialized data through the manipulation file, which is the main file, to tut030.php. Anyway, um, if you have any questions or comments um, or suggestions on future tutorials, please do not. Um, please feel free to send me a message on that. Um, also, if you like my videos, please subscribe and rate them. Um, and you can come view my tutorials at my site, cloudblood321.com. Signing off, cloudblood321.